When the ball gets close to your body and you don't get away from it, the racket's going to want to get to that ball. So it's going to come in like this. Now, where's it aiming? Cross court. That makes sense? So you have to start to judge how to get around the ball. Now, if I keep my arm across my body and straight, that's, a go that's giving me an example where the ball should be hit, where my finger is. Look, so the ball comes under my arm. It's, it's too close. So now I can move away. Now, there it is. Look, right where it should be, not in here. So that's one thing about not getting too close to the ball. And when you turn and your arm goes across, what's it also doing to your back? It's turning your back for the power of the new stroke that you're learning. Your racket drops under the ball. It's initiated from the wrist and not what? The shoulder should tilt. So when the racket goes down, what's going down with it? Look at the angle of my racket and my shoulder. Take a look at my swing. Where is it right now? Identical to my shoulder. Now watch what happens now. The shoulder's coming up. Look. That's when you start feeling the ball. If you just do it with your racket, it's just from the wrist. The ball could be short in the net, it could be long. Does that make sense? So start to study in a mirror that tilt of the shoulder. Does that make sense? This is high tech I'm giving. I'm giving you guys stuff that took me 30 years to understand. And you guys are learning it right now. So if you're out there playing to you see yourself doing this, it's not, you're not gonna feel it.